YouTube. Today we are making a corset style belt. I drafted the belt out on my upsized dress form 2.0 and drew up the lines. It's a simple three piece pattern belt. You can download and play with it. This project is great for busting scrap fabrics. It can be completed in an afternoon. I'll add instructions to upsize or downsize the pattern at the end of the video. So just note that this is made to my body shape and it will not fit everyone. I started by cutting out the interfacing pieces. You can cut out two sets if the fabric you're using is lightweight. This iron-on interfacing is for making shirt collars and shirt cuffs. It will stiffen up the belt but not make it thick. So here are the pieces that I've cut out. Remember to mark down all the stars and circles and triangles on the pattern so that you can match up the pattern pieces because it can get confusing if you don't. So I'm going to use this old pair of jeans and it's a stretch jeans so there's a stretch going horizontally so I don't want my belt to stretch so I'm going to cut it sideways. I'm going to iron on the interfacing so that it won't stretch horizontally. Remember to leave about 1.5 centimeter for the seam allowance. We will create the slots to put in the piping with the seam allowance, so don't make it too short. Managed to get four pieces out of this, and I need an additional piece. I was practicing my embroidering skills with this pants. If you over bleach your pants, you know that they can rip like very easily. <laughs> so this one was destroyed by sadistic bleaching. So now I have all my pieces cut out. Before you sew them together, you can use this whole piece to cut out your lining pieces. And I'm going to match the sides together. It's easy to sew when your iron-on interfacing doesn't have the seam allowance. You can just follow the lines on the iron-on interfacing. Iron out your seams. So you see that the belt have a curve to it when you put it together? So we're going to sew down the seams to create the slots for the boning. We will use that seam line there and just bump it to your sewing foot and sew it down. So your needle have to be moved to the right. So use that seam line as a guide. And we will do that for all the seams. So it should look like this. And then we will put the boning or the piping up the slot. For my lining, I use felt for the back and the side panels. But for the front panels, I use the same jean fabric. I also interface the front panels of the lining because uh, I will be adding gourmets and I want them to be extra strong. So now we're going to place them right sides to right sides. The seam allowances on the lining piece, I just iron them to one side and top stitch them down. And I cut off the excess. So we're going to sew from this point on the front and just follow 
the line of the interfacing. Okay, just keep on sewing until you reach this point and you stop. So stop before the seam. So I have these round piping with, that I'm going to use as boning. So you can use the flat ones or some people use zip ties. I was making a bag and I need some piping, you know, to stiffen the bag up. And they won't sell by the yard and I have to buy the whole thing. I'm trying to finish this up. Just cut the boning 1.5 to 2 centimeters shorter. Because uh, later on you will have to top stitch the belt and the boning will get in, in the way. Now we're going to sew the remaining part, but we will leave a hole for us to flip the belt out right in the middle. And before you flip, just clean up the inside so that when you flip them out, you can uh, poke out the corners. So don't trim off the seam allowances around the hole. You know, you will need that seam allowance to sew the hole close. It's a bit difficult flipping this thing because there's boning inside. So take your time here to adjust the front panel so that they, they look symmetrical. We'll be top stitching over them. I think I got them very symmetrical now. Give the whole thing a good iron. So we will close the hole by top stitching the whole belt like in one go. So this is about uh, half a centimeter from the edge. Just use your zipper foot as a guide. So each time you need to turn a corner, uh, you leave the needle in and lift the sewing foot and swivel the belt to a new position. So now we're going to set the grommets. This is the eyelet part of the grommet, the front side. It has a something that looks like a shaft. And it has a washer. This will be on the inside of the belt. So we need a hole punch and also a grommet setter. Ta-da! And one thing to take into consideration is that the gourmet setter has to match your gourmets. So if you use a different size one, it will turn out crooked. So test them on some scrap fabric before you actually set them, because it's the last step and you don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna show you up close how to set it. So find the position kind of make a mark and use a hole punch and give it a silver whack on the head okay now you put your eyelet the eyelet piece of the grommet into the setter and turn your belt upside down then you paste this washer with the rounded size facing up 
there is a rounded side uh -huh. and a hollow side so you place the rounded side facing up and then you place the center inside and give it a couple of wax see and it's done okay now we will repeat it on the other side this is the back you can download this and use it as a base and play with it the finished size of this belt is 32 inches I made it a little bigger because I'm going to wear it over my clothes. You can also make it smaller if you want to have that, you know, cinch effect on your waist. I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust the pattern. We will just work with the panel three. The dash line here means that it's based on a fold. This is like a, uh, a quick way. It may not be the correct way. So suppose you want to make it bigger, an inch bigger. We will just move this line half an inch. And you make sure that this and this, these two angles are right angles. So the same if you want to make it like an inch bigger, you just move this line half an inch. Okay, so they will be here. So I don't recommend making it like 10 inches bigger or something, but you can try maybe 3 inches, then you can do 1 inch here, 1 inch here, and 1 inch here. So this is the front of the belt. So if you want to make it bigger or smaller, cut it in half. And then if you want it smaller, you move it in half an inch bigger you spread it half an inch and then you redraw this line so that it's smooth okay 